Hello guys, welcome to Help of Body Learning. My name is Prashant Jha. Now today we are going to solve the problem of Tower of Hanoi. What is the Tower of Hanoi and why I have chosen this problem? Very simple thing. If we are going to talk about the stack data structure, so in stack data structure, we perform a push and pop operation from a top side, from a top end. And similarly, when we are going to read the problem, the rules of Tower of Hanoi to solve this problem, the same rules we will understand that we have to perform the same operation. We have to keep a plate on top side. We have to remove a plate from a top side. The same thing we are going to see here. Okay. So without a wasting time, let's dive into the video. Uh, Tower of Hanai. And the first objective of this uh, program and objective of this problem to move the entire plates from pipe A to pipe C with the help of pipe B. Definitely. Okay. So objective is to move the entire plate from pipe A to pipe C. Okay, great. Now this is the rule. There is a very simple rule to play this game or to solve this problem. We can move only one disc at a time. This is the first rule. You can move only one disc. You cannot take a two or three discs at a time. You can take only one disc at a time. Second rule, we have to pick a upper disc from any one pipe. You have to pick a upper disc. As you have seen in the previous slide that we have a three plates. And as you have seen that three, the small, larger plate, then the smaller plate two, then another smaller plate is one. You can move and you can take a, a one disc from a, at a time. Okay, so we have to pick an upper disc from any one pipe. We have to place on the top of any disc. So if you read this second rule, you have to pick a disc from any pipe, okay, from any pipe, but you have to pick from top side. Upper disc. Upper disc in the sense you have to perform a push, uh, sorry, pop operation uh, from a top side. Okay. And we have to place on the top of any disc in the sense you have to perform the push operation from a top side. That's why we are taking a tower of an eye is an example of your uh, stack. Okay. We can say like an interview, suppose someone is asking you or interview is asking you like uh, give me a real time example of a uh, uh, stack so you can take whatever example you want to take but if you have if you're not uh, able to understand that which example you can take so tower fun is the best uh, example that you can take over there so we cannot uh, place any large the last rule we cannot place any large disc on the top of a smaller disc okay so these are the four rules let's start the play game okay without wasting a time so first is this your initial step in this initial step as you can see here we have a three plates and uh, uh, we uh, and uh, we have a three pipe as well as also so a b and c now uh in the next step what what should i do that means what should what will be my move for the next step okay this is the initial step now this initial step is designed so i will keep move the first uh, plate like one from pipe a to pipe c okay let's go done okay we have just moved the uh, plate A from pipe A to pipe C. Now in the next step, in the next pass, what will be our step? We will move the uh, plate two, plate two from pipe A to pipe B, okay? Because we can take only one, we can take only one plate and that we have to pick from a top side. Now, this is your second pass done. In third pass, what will be our third step? In the third step, as you can see here, what should I do? So it's very simple. What we can do exactly? We'll move a one to two or we'll move a two to three. Let's check, okay. So we just moved the one from pipe C to pipe B, okay. This is your third pass done. Now in next pass, we'll move the three from pipe A to pipe C, okay. So this is your fourth pass. And this passes is nothing but your algorithm because algorithm is a step-by-step -step description of your program. And the same thing here, this, uh, steps also uh, like your program okay your, your algorithm so in the next step in the fifth pass we will move the one that means the first uh, plate from pipe b to pipe a okay done this is your fifth step in the sixth step as you know that we'll move pipe two from pipe b to pipe c okay this is your sixth step and the last step we will move definitely we're going to move a uh, plate one from pipe A to pipe C. So this is the, uh, this these are the steps, these are the entire steps, the total seven steps we had taken to solve this problem. And if you guys already knows these steps, so you can skip this part, you can directly jump on the coding part, okay. Otherwise, before starting this game, you should solve from your end, okay. Now it has done, 
So let's move on the coding part without wasting a time. And first I'll show you the output. First I will show you the output and then just a bit, okay. First I'll show you the output and then I'll explain the code also. With the help of class and object, I have done this code. So just check this code, okay. Done. Now you can see here, welcome to Tower of Hanoi. This is our given problem, three, two, one. Now it is initialized. Expected output in C pipe, we want three, two, one. So first three we have pushed in the tower, then we push the two, then we push the three, two, one. Okay, now here we had just removed the one from pipe A to pipe C. Then here, as you can see, if you go and if you take check the all the steps, we have done same operations that we have done in the slide. Okay, so I will show you the output. First, welcome to Tower of Anai. This is our initial step as like a slide. I have explained the slide three to one and this is your pipe A, pipe B and pipe C. And the expected output, like we have to move this entire plates from pipe A to pipe C, like three to one, as you can see here, right? Item A in tower. So first we push the element uh, in A, that is three because we have to initialize it as per this step we first we have to initialize the uh, list a because obviously we are going to represent we represent the stack by using a list data structure so here also we have to represent uh, this pipe a using the list data structure and we have to push the element here right so we first push the element that is 3 then second we push the element that is 2 so after 3 we have pushed the 2 and the last we have pushed the element that is 1 so after three, after after three, we have pushed the two, and after two, we have pushed the element that is one. So we have done this initialization step very successfully. Congratulations, guys! Now here we have started the steps. Okay. So first, as you know that as per the rules, and I I personally suggest if you guys know this step, then it's okay. If you are beginner, if you have if you are doing this program first time, so keep the pen and paper uh, beside you and just write down all the steps so that you can compare a step with this output also then you can then you are able to understand the uh, code okay so that's why i'm first i'm explaining the output which is very important uh, as I, I i just understood okay so uh, first i move the smaller plate that is one from pipe a to pipe c okay in the second step we have just moved the two from pipe a to pipe b in the third step we have moved from uh, uh, one from pipe c to pipe b then in fourth step uh, uh, in the fourth step yeah, just we move the three from pipe A to pipe C. And obviously in the sixth, uh, in the sorry, in the fifth step, we have just moved the uh, one from pipe two to pipe A. And in the sixth step, we have just moved the two from uh, pipe B to pipe C. And the last step, definitely we have just moved the one from pipe A to pipe C. So pass seven completed. And this is the entire step that we had done. So if you just pause this video and if you do a comparison, you can easily able to understand. Okay, there is no uh, complexity. It's a very simple output. Okay, now let's explain you these things. First, I imported the time model, which is not required here, but I have imported to show you this output in a slow motion way. That's why I just imported. Otherwise, there is no need to import it. Okay, then tower, this is the class. Uh, first, I create the constructor because as you know that whenever I'm going to create an object, first of all, my constructor will get called. So inside of constructor, I designed some static part uh, as per my requirement, like welcome to Tower of an eye game, given a problem, three, two, one. This is my uh, initial steps. That means I just show you in the output that uh, what what is our uh, initial step and what is our expected output. Like we have to move the entire plate from pipe A to pipe C. So I have done this in the string because as you know that whatever uh, the code and the uh, statements you keep in uh, between the double quote or single quote bracket that is going to print as it is on the screen. So I've done the smart work. Okay, I know that. So now I've taken a three list because at the end we have to represent, we, we need a three pipes and for three pipes, we have to take a three independent list. This three independent list going to represent your stack. Okay, uh, just consider it. Okay, so self.a, in self.a I've taken a, a list, first list, the self.b and self.c. Why I'm taking a self argument? This is your default argument that you must have to take whenever you are going to declare a constructor or function inside a class. Okay, that is a different part. Okay, 
So now first I designed the tower function because we have to push an element three, two, one, one by one in the in the list A. Okay, because that is our initial step now. A, B, C, we have a three list. First we have to push three, two, one. This initial steps we have to design. How I am doing? Very simple. Tower function I designed. First self is my default argument. Item is my user defined parameter. Okay. I just consider that you guys already aware from the object oriented concept. You have a good command of the object oriented design concept. Then you are only able to understand it. If you are not having a knowledge of object oriented concept in Python, then first go and first do a study of object oriented concept. Then come and then start this code. Okay. Otherwise, uh, nothing is going to be understandable for you guys. Right? Kuch bhi nahi aega. So just what I'm doing exactly, uh, tower function. Okay, let's scroll it. And uh, if you see here, I've just created an object. As you know that when I'm going to create an object, first of all, constructor will get called. And then after executing a constructor part, your interpreter will return here. By using this object, I call the tower function. First argument I'm passing here, that is three. And this three will get copy to your tower, tower, tower. Yes, in this parameter item and self, obviously this is your default argument and this argument used to represent the properties of your class. Right now, A is my list and this is having a properties. So self.a, I just select the A by using a cell keyword. Then by using A, as you know that A is a list and list means it is a storage area boss. It is a storage area, it is temporary. It is, it is data structure, okay. So it is not going to perform any operation. For performing an operation, we have to call the function. So by using it, I call the function that is the append function. In the append function, I pass the item. And as you know that right now, right now this item variable having a value three, okay. So when you append this, because you know that by using append function, we add the element in list. And append function always add the element in the right side. Right, 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 okay. That means first it will push the element three. After taking a three second delay, I just print the A as you have seen in the output. Okay. Uh, if I just scroll it, I think it has done. Yeah. So three, this, this, this was the step. Okay. Then again, if you see here, so again, after executing that tower function, your interpreter will return. Second time uh, I'm calling the same function tower. Uh, and I'm passing a two again by using append function. It will append to the right side of to the right side of. Oh, just a bit. Yes. Yes, to the right side of three. Again, when the interpreter will return by using object, I call the tower, the same function. And as you know that I've explained one time. Okay, and you should understand in a one time. Again, one will come to the parameter of item. Using a A, I call the append function item passing. And this one will add it to the right side of the three, two. That means after two, it will add it to the top side. After three seconds, it will display. And this time when A is going to display, so as you know that three, two, one, you will get to this output. Okay, then what I'm doing exactly very simple guys, very simple thing. Okay, I'm just uh, doing a passes, okay. So what is what are the passes? What are the steps I'm that what I'm performing? Then now I have a a. Uh, so object I object dot I call the pass one function. I've designed the uh, pass one, pass two, pass three separate function for each steps. Okay. So pass one. Now what I'm doing exactly a dot pop function. I call the a dot pop function. As you know that right now in a we have element three two one. Okay. And if you just check the index number, so index number zero in there representing a three. Index number one representing a two and index number two representing the one. So I'm just removing the element one from where I'm just removing the element one from A and I'm keeping that one to the temp variable. That means right now this temp variable is having a element one. Okay, as you know that. So it is going to be just removed from here. Okay, one will be removed from here and it will store in the temp. So I can just write down that temp is having my one and Okay, just take a small step. And this one by using again, C is my third list. So C dot append function, I call the append function. This time self dot, I call the temp variable. And right now temp is having a one. That means in C, if I'm just going to write a step, so I can write like C equal to 
inside of the list of C, inside of the list of the C, what, what is going to assign? It is going to assign like one. Okay, sorry. So in C, one is going to be assigned. Okay, that is very simple. That uh, temp is having a one. And right now you append the temp variable in C. That means one is added into the C. After three second delay, it will show you the output. Okay, so what will be the output? What will the output? Definitely A is going to have a three, two, B is nothing, and C is having a one. Okay, so if I'm going to take the output snap or just take the part, okay. The first pass, in the first pass, you can see three, two, B is empty and C is having a one. In the next step, as you know that, we'll move the two from pipe A to pipe B, okay. So in the second pass, and same in below, uh, by using the object I call the pass two, here, self dot a pop one. Pop one in the sense what? Again, again, you know that guys, don't be confused. We have three comma two. Okay, now we have only two and two. one. That means index number zero is representing three. Index number one is representing two. So two will be pop and it will be stored again in temp. Okay, so again, I'm just going to take the temp equal to, now temp is having a two. That means two has been removed from here because pop function will remove the element from the list. Okay. And when it return the value, it will store in the temp. By using a B because we have to move the two in pipe from pipe A to from pipe A, we have to remove and we have to push inside a B. So definitely B dot append and I'm just using a temp. That means what will happen exactly? B equal to definitely inside of this list. I'll get the two because it, it has been assigned from the temp to B. Okay, now after three seconds where I'm going to display, so A will have a three, B will have a two, and C will have a definitely one. Okay, so if I scroll pass one in the second pass, as you can see three, two, one, this is your second pass. Okay, in the third pass, as you know that we will move one from pipe C to pipe B. Okay, and this is very important because we have already solved this problem on the PPT on the slide. So when you understand, when you check that part, then you are able to understand, okay, boss, this is the steps. So just keep write down these steps beside uh, on your copy and just put uh, keep that copy in front of you. Uh, if you're not aware from the steps, if you're forgetting, if you're not able to remember the steps, just keep that uh, copy in front of you so that you are able to uh, recall the things and you can just compare your uh, problem uh, solving steps with this code. And uh, the same thing, if you maintain this, coordination properly definitely you will understand okay so uh, now in the uh, in the th in the third step we have to remove uh, uh, one from pipe c and we have to keep uh, push in the we have to push in in pipe b okay so in the third step you have seen uh, from pipe c so self dot c dot pop zero and zero means what boss because as you know that in c uh, in C, you have only one element that is that is what? Uh, that is one, okay. So when you call, and the index number of this uh, C, uh, this one is zero. So when you call the pop function, it will remove the one from here. Definitely it will remove from here and will store in the temp. And by using a temp, you are appending in B. So as you know that earlier, we was having a element, uh, we was having element two. Now we are moving, we are pushing, we are adding element that is one so definitely after two one will add it okay and when you display here so after pass two you will see two one so the same step i followed here if i show you the code guys okay the same steps for pass four you just compare the steps okay i'm not taking out too much uh, things right now because i just consider that you have understood the pass one pass two pass three that means you can able to understand the pass four because here also in pass for what I'm going to do, I have to move the three from pipe A to pipe C. Uh, okay, so this is very simple. Uh, from pipe uh, B, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, in pipe four. So what we are doing? Uh, from pipe A pop function, I call the pop function. I'm using zero because only one element is there right now. You can see here only one element, A equal to three. Index number zero is representing the three. So just remove the, just uh, I'm given an index number zero. It will pop the element, remove the element, and will return that element, and that element we are storing in temp. That means three will remove, and when it get returned, it will get stored in your temp variable. 
then c dot append function i'm calling and i'm adding a temp to there right so by using a c when i call the append function the element will be added to the c that means in the fourth step uh you will get the element from pipe a to pipe c the same function i called uh, in pass five you can see here you can pause the video you can write the code and this these steps are same in every passage this step is same why because i'm after uh, removing element and after uh, pushing that means after a pop option operation after a push operation i'm showing the entire list all the three lists that what changes has been done okay uh, then uh, uh, pass six and the same step pass seven is the same step as we have seen that by using object i call the all the functions so i hope you guys have understood very successfully all these things and again i'm one time i'm going to run this code okay oh this is my django code which is not required here again i run and the first initial step these are the because of the constructor we can see this output then first we push the element three then we are pushing element two on the right side of three and then we push the element one on the right side of two initialization initialization is done passes are started okay and just compare your uh the uh, output that you have uh, you, you have write down in your copy and uh, this output okay guys let's do it so pass 5 pass 6 pass 7 and personally i suggest whichever steps you know in advance just skip that step because i know that if you know the things in advance watching the same thing is just getting uh, uh, make us boring okay so don't be get boring about these things uh, let's understand and put if you have anything anything about the doubt anything else that you have not able to understand through this video you can put your uh, so your question in comment box definitely whenever i get a time i'll give you the reply uh, in your question so for right now i just consider that you have enjoyed the session and thank you very much guys